Here we are at San Simeon State Beach, one of the few dog-friendly beaches in the area. Oh, and I guess Johnny doesn't care much for the leash rules on this beach, does he? Where did this camping journey begin? My first memories of camping were in a tent in a rainforest with banana slugs somewhere in the Pacific Northwest. Back home in Central California, my parents soon purchased a truck camper and we began exploring the entire Western United States on my dad's two week vacations. During the rest of the year, we took a lot of small weekend trips and one of the places we came back to again and again was San Simeon State Park Campground. Not because there was a great swimming beach or there was any amusement parks or great activities to do nearby for kids. We went because it was peaceful. It was just a few hours drive from the house and there was always a site available even if we had to stay in the overflow campground. The campgrounds changed quite a bit since I was a kid, but those distant memories keep bringing me back to the place where I fell in love with camping. San Simeon State Park Campground is located on the Pacific Coast Highway just south of the small town of San Simeon. The popular tourist town of Pismo Beach is 54 miles to the south and 94 miles up the Pacific Coast Highway will take you to the Monterey Bay. The San Simeon State Park Campground is divided into three sections. There is the upper and lower creek section and the Washburn Campground. The Upper and Lower San Simeon Creek Campground offers 134 campsites for tent camping or recreational vehicles. The maximum length for an RV is 35 feet. Each campsite has a fire ring and a picnic table. Although there are no hookups at individual sites, there are water spigots located throughout the campground as well as flush toilets and pay showers. Firewood is available for sale from the campground host. The Washburn Campground is a primitive campground approximately one mile inland from the beach on a plateau overlooking the Santa Lucia Mountains as well as the Pacific Ocean. Facilities here include a fire ring and picnic table at each campsite. Pit toilets and water spigots are available throughout the campground and the showers located in the San Simeon Creek Campground are available for use by registered campers. There are 68 sites available in the Washburn Campground. The nightly fees at San Simeon are $35 per night for the Upper and Lower Creek Campgrounds, $20 for the Washburn Campground, and there are a couple of hike and bike sites available for $10 a night. On this visit, we stayed at site number 26 in the Upper Creek Campground. Well, it can't all be perfect. At least the trash is burnable, which I will do with a campfire a little bit later this evening. Let's check out the bathrooms. Well, the floor is a little wet, but that's from having just been cleaned. Looks pretty decent, especially for a state park. Let's check out the showers. There is the token machine. And I actually did try one of the other showers and it did not function at all. So I ended up using this one, which was the handicapped shower, but actually worked great. Nice warm shower. 
There's a beautiful natural amphitheater on site for ranger presentations on weekends as well. As you can see, some of the tent only sites were pretty flooded out from some of the recent rains here in California and obviously not usable. But this, uh, on this particular trip, there were plenty of sites available for tents in the rest of the Lower Creek campground. Normally, this is the area where, where we would get access to the beach. However, due to the recent storm damage, the uh, the trail to the beach was completely washed out. This little creek has always been here, but it's never been quite this wide or this big. And it uh, completely blocked off our route to the beach. You have to cross a bridge and go around on the other side to get beach access at this time. I've been coming to this campground since I was six years old and I've never seen so much flood damage. This is crazy. I know, I know. It's crazy. Wow. <laughs> Uh -huh. So outside of the natural beauty and peaceful tranquility of the campground, what else is there to do in the area? Well, there's actually quite a bit, and most people start with Hearst Castle, formerly known as La Cuesta Encantada, Spanish for the Enchanted Hill. Conceived by William Randolph Hearst, the publishing tycoon, and his architect, Julia Morgan, the castle was built between 1919 and 1947. Today, Hearst Castle is a museum open to the public as a California State Park and registered as a National Historical Landmark and California Historic Landmark. Another popular place to visit is the Piedras Blancas Elephant Seal Rookery. This is the only elephant seal rookery in the world that is easily accessible, free, and open to the public every day of the year. No reservations are needed. The rookery is located seven miles north of San Simeon on Highway 1. Just a little south of San Simeon, don't forget to check out Cambria, California. Great shopping, antique stores, and fantastic restaurants. Our favorite place to eat in the area is the San Simeon Beach Bar and Grill. Tammy had the chicken and I had the most amazing seafood pasta I've ever had in my life. After our three night trip, it was time to hit the dump station and head home. So have you ever visited San Simeon State Park? If so, let us know about your adventures in the comments below. We would appreciate it. As always, Thanks for checking out our videos. Please like, subscribe, and share with your friends. We really appreciate it. Please be safe and have a great day.